comments. Kevin, thank you. All news tonight at 11. How comfortable would you be if a computer took over your car right before a crash? Well, tonight a Georgia lawmaker thinks that you'd actually be a lot safer. His bill would require a computer-controlled device, safety device, on all commercial vehicles to prevent crashes. Our Jeremy Campbell is holding the powerful accountable on this, looking into how it will work out. Now, you looked into the feasibility of this. What did you discover? Well, it's complicated. Uh, that, that's the short answer. Soon after Congressman Hank Johnson filed the bill today, his office sent us this copy. It's called the Safe Roads Act, and it's co-sponsored by Representatives John Lewis and David Scott. Now, the bill intends to make the roads safer but one engineer says that its method is unrealistic. In April, it was tragedy on the open road when five Georgia Southern nursing students died after a tractor trailer failed to stop along I-16. Congressman Hank Johnson hopes to save future lives with this proposed bill. Every bus and tractor trailer would be fitted retroactively with a computer-controlled self-stopping device. In addition to high-profile crashes in Georgia, Johnson cites the total number of accidents involving commercial vehicles. As population swells, Johnson predicts an increase in these vehicles on the road. As for the cost, Johnson believes if this is passed and signed into law, the sudden increase in orders would bring down the expense per vehicle to approximately $500. This is not very well thought out. It's a knee-jerk reaction to a situation. Ronald Trockelman spent a decade working as a vehicle engineer. He believes if commercial vehicles had the auto stop feature, it would simply shift the impact of a crash. You're traveling at 70 miles an hour behind a tractor trailer, and we all know everybody doesn't give enough distance. That thing's slamming on the brakes, the guy behind them is going underneath that truck. Tockelman's suggestion? It might make sense to start requiring these things on new vehicles so that over time all vehicles on the road have this kind of system, but it would have to be industry-wide, every vehicle, not just commercial trucks. Johnson's office argues that the technology is designed to prevent crashes. We'll see how all of this plays out on Capitol Hill. It's worth noting that this is still in its infancy. This is very, very early. Very on. early just today, and it is a complicated issue. Not sure any precedent has been set for yeah, something like Yeah, or this. how long it will live. All right, Jeremy, thank you.